Welcome to the Boxing Locker, it's your man Matt Goddard and today I'm going to take you through a drill inspired mostly by a, a friend of mine who came to visit the gym. His name is Adam Atia, he is also a Boxing Border Control Licensed Trainer and he's just travelled around the world visiting loads of great boxing gyms and some incredible coaches and he was working with one of my lads the other night and he took him through a drill. Now, this is my variation on that drill and I'm going to use it in a different function, okay? So Adam had a, my white collar boxer, Alex, on the pads. He was taking him through this drill. I'm going to take you through it in a shadow boxing format because I think there's value to practicing that first in this instance, okay? Um, big shout out to Adam. You can find him on Instagram at the Atia, T-H-E-A-T-T-I-A. -T great page, great content, and a very informed coach. Really working on educating himself all the time, which I love, okay? So... In the boxing stance, so this is the shadow boxing drill. I'm gonna take through each individual aspect, add another one to it non-stop, and the final sequence will be the actual drill for you to practice, okay? But we need to get each individual aspect in correct. So, first up, I'm gonna catch the jab. Now, catch the jab with the inside of the hand, snap the jab out, that's the first thing I do. So I'm moving around, I'm engaged with that invisible, imaginary target in front of me, catch and jab. You don't have to step in, catch and jab, you can be going out, catch and jab, anything, any direction, anywhere, you've gotta be able to move all the ways, Catch the jab, jab back, whatever direction you're moving, all right? That's the first thing we do. Simple defense, simple counter. The second one is to defend another jab, but this time with a simultaneous attack, all right? So we start off with catch and jab, and now we're gonna slip and jab to the body. That's gonna be at the same time, okay? So I catch and I jab, now I'm moving around, back, drop my head off that center line, drive that body jab in, move around, back to the feet, changes of pace. A little bit of engagement, a little bit of style in between. A little bit of defense, I'm engaging my brain, okay? So we go on the catch the jab, boom, shoot the jab. Into the body, a little bit of movement in between. No punches, just keep the sequence simple. Focus on just a little bit of flair, a little bit of character in between. After that, we introduce a step back and a one-two, okay? This is a little bit more aggressive, okay? We're being defensive and then translating that quickly into attack. Hopefully we're gonna get a good end result out of that. But if we don't, we keep it nice and long, we're back into position, ready to reset and readdress, all right? So in my boxing stance, everybody knows this is my favorite stance. Check it out, my back heel slightly raised, weight sunk back slightly hip centered, and I'm tucked in. So as I'm moving around, catch the jab, jab back. A little bit of movement, a little shift up. Jab to the body. Step back, one, two, back in position. A little bit of flair, a little bit of defense in between. Catch and jab. Jab to the body. Jab cross on that back step. After that, okay, after that. Now, what we want to do is immediately after that jab cross, we're going to double jab and move around, okay? So I catch the jab and I jab, I jab back. Catch and jab back. Then I'm going to the body with the jab. Step back, one, two. At this point here, I reset the feet and go left foot, left foot, okay? I want to go around with this, I need to take myself out of the way. Now the only reason this wouldn't work in a real life scenario is if you are on the ropes. If I'm going into the ropes, it's not going to do me any good. So I want to move off in the other direction, I want to move back. That is adaptable, you can change that, you can practice it differently if you want to. But we want to be moving in a direction with that double jab, wherever we're going, right? Now, let's get to the draw. So I'm in my boxing stance, tucked in, catch and jab, have a little move around. Reset, jab to the body. Come in there, step back, jab, cross. Double jab round. Move again. Now, it's at this point we get aggressive, right? So we've defended nicely, we've moved nicely, we've landed the jab, we've established distance. We've got a little bit of control, we've got a little bit of a psychological advantage here. At this point, we come in with one, two, three, slip over to the side, body, head, roll out, reset, go again, right? From the top. So this is a long little sequence, this one here, long combination to remember, but this is the end of the sequence, and then you reset and begin again. Now, in my boxing stance, catch and jab, jab to the body, step back, jab, cross, double jab round. Now I'm on the front foot, one, two, three, down. Body, head, roll, come out, move around, use your feet, okay? The only reason I'm moving in this direction is because of the space, but the camera wants to stay in the picture. If I go here, bob, bob, roll, I want to keep moving in this direction, really utilize the most space, move away from the punching hand. Right now, let's do that drill again from the top, so we reset, and in my stance, catch and jab, 
a little bit of movement. Don't stay passive in between, be engaged, but body jab. Head comes off the center line, drop it down. Step back, one, two, double jab. I've decided to go to the right this time. As I'm moving around now, I want to get on the aggressive. Landing that double jab, the opponent's wary, they don't want to walk in. One, two, three. 45 degrees shovel hook to the body. Hip central, weight sinks into the ground. Drop the shoulder back, hand comes to the chin. Arc that fist round, turn it round. Now I'm gonna roll. Come under with that left foot, pivot out. Keep moving in that direction. And then we go again, okay? So slowly, let me take you through each individual aspect. Compile together so that we get that whole sequence. So catch, jab, move around, body jab. Move around, step, one, two, double jab. Now I'm getting on the aggressive, one, two, three, slip, right hand high, 45 degree shovel hook to the body, kick it back, turn the hip and shoulder, stay in the middle of your feet, roll, turn out, move around, use the space, okay? So, boxing stance, catch and jab, you haven't got to go forward, catch and jab, catch and jab, catch and jab, then we go into the body, dropping our weight over to that side, Keep the hand tucked in, thumb to chin, turn that wrist over, and then you back out using your feet. And I step back, one, two, double jab. Notice this someone went backwards. As I get to this point, I go on the aggressive. One, two, three, drop. Over to this side, inside hand right. Shovel hook to the body, hook to the head. Roll out, turn, reset, move around the opponent. Start the whole thing again now. This is a great sequence to practice. It's a great sequence to apply. Having that separation between each individual aspect gives you an opportunity to adapt it and fit it to the circumstances of whatever situation you're in. If I'm sparring, I catch the jab and jab back, have a little move around, now I look at my opponent. Is the body jab the next option? Maybe not, maybe I'll catch and jab again. Did he like that? I don't know. Now I'm gonna fake the catch, drop down, go to the body. I'm gonna have a little look around again, see what he's doing. He's coming in, step back, back, back. Double jab round, giving him a new angle now. Now he's got to think. Now he's going, mm, do I want to walk in there again? Do I want to get hit with them straight shots? Maybe I'll draw him in. I'm going to be more than willing. One, two, three, there. Whap, whap. Move out, turn. Move off, reset, do it all over again. Pick your timing, okay? In practice, it's important to engage your imagination. Think about what you're doing in between. Boom, catch. They'll slip off. Speed up the feet, create a bit of space. Now I'm back in my stance, ready to go. Immediately I've posed an aggressive position, okay? So I move around, I'm neutral, I'm relaxed, and then boom, here we go. I'm engaged with that target, my eyes are on it. There's nothing there, but the imagination is engaged. There's a slip, okay? Get that brain working. Brain power all the time. Brain's over broad all day long. Everything else is uh, secondary, okay? So get your boxing brain, get your functioning of all of your movements, Get the intent of all your movements correct. Practice, practice, practice on the technical front. Then augment that, compound that ability with fitness, with strength, with coordination, with speed, with all of these different aspects. They only come together if you've got the technique in the first place. Otherwise, you'll always be a second rate fighter. Boxing comes first, the best skill set will always come to the top, provided you are doing as much work as possible to get better and better. The best boxers in the world have the widest skill sets. You've only got to look at all of the champions see exactly that as always thank you for tuning in if you have any questions let me know in the comments below don't forget to like please subscribe please if you haven't already and uh thank you once again for watching all the way to the end of the video have a great day everybody